So part of what happens each round we do of this, it releases some old stress. So the stress release, and in biofeedback they call it release phenomena, because this happens doing biofeedback. It takes different forms for each person at different times and for different people. Okay, so some of you may feel a little uncomfortable because it can be uncomfortable as the stress is released. So don't assume you're going to feel suddenly great bliss doing this. You might feel unhappy for a bit. Sometimes people feel really angry or the mind chatters more. Or you may find your mind starts to get quiet, quieter, uh, perhaps. Uh, other experiences? Alice? So she's saying it was easier than she thought. She has some breathing problems, but it got easier. Yes. Okay. So the other thing, just as an aside, the moving the breath makes it much easier for people with asthma and other pulmonary problems to do this breathing than it would be otherwise. So we may talk more about the moving the breath and why and so on. Other experiences anybody wants to share? Bar? I felt very relaxed. Very relaxed. Okay, great. A physical clarity. Uh huh. Okay. Relief from thought. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you can learn to turn it on and off. Yeah. Yeah. So for some of you, this pace may feel too fast. For some of you, it may feel too slow. It's the perfect pace for most people F to have the right balance of relaxation and energy. We'll do some other breathing that's slower. There's value to slower and faster rhythms, but as we'll show you a little bit later, this has an amazing effect on you, and there's a lot, we won't even get into all the research on it. But normally, every function in your mind, body, spirit complex has a diurnal rhythm. There's an hour of the day where you do algebra and differential equations best. There's an hour or two where you're strongest physically, Every function in your mind, body, spirit has its rhythm. And the thing is, normally those rhythms are totally chaotic and incoherent. Your energy is really incoherent. And when you start doing this breathing, it's remarkable. You can measure how they all come together. They all align. So instead of being like your system being different sections of an orchestra warming up, it becomes like an orchestra playing together and making beautiful music. And your blood flow in your brain and your heart synchronize. So how often are your head and your heart together? Not often, okay? But life is much better when you do. 